My name is Yolanda. I am 37 years old. Anytime somebody says, well, I have a couple of kittens or I have a couple of puppies, can you help out? And, and I'm just, I take them because I don't want to see them abandoned. Again, I, I get new pets all the time. Sometimes she gets overwhelmed. I get overwhelmed. I really want to get my house remodeled and get everything put back together. And I'm, I don't want to spend the money to do it if they're just going to tear it back up again. David is a very laid back. He don't, he's a man of few words. But, you know, him and I have talked and he says, Judy says, I just, I just can't take all these animals. My children have expressed a lot of feelings about the animals. Choose to be around here. I leave smelling awful. I leave. People know I've been at my mom's. <laughs> tell me when I turn 18 I'm leaving I'm never looking back and she did and she did well, for one she can't turn an animal out on the street she if she sees one or sees one injured out on, she has to pick it up you know and take care of it I think we need to find a way to get some of the animals adopted only one of my children lives at home right now Austin, he gets a little upset because he's the, the only child left at home right now. When I was younger, they used to tell me that my clothes stunk or that they'd give me cologne to wear for the day. But now that they have gotten used to it and my friends don't say anything about my stench. Our family would be better without so many animals because we could have conversations more without being interrupted. Because I don't want to push my kids out for an animal, obviously. It's terrible. It's terrible. Her house is a mess. Her life's a mess. My friends and family hate my pet. My grandmother was the only one who didn't judge me. My grandmother passed away in 1991, and uh, she uh, was my safety net. Um, I went kind of crazy after she died. Um, I uh, started doing drugs and drinking and I just spiraled out of control after my grandmother died because I didn't trust anybody else in my life. I feel like my pets are my children, like my family. They are, they give as much as you give them. There was some abuse in, in uh early in life and I think that may have a lot to do with it also. You know, I've I've made a mess of everything with my my animals. I just want a better life. I want my kids and my husband to have a better life than what I've given them. If the situation don't change with Yolanda, she's gonna wind up losing her home, her husband, her kids, me. She needs a home that can be a home, not a SPCA, not a, for lack of a better word, a toilet for a bunch of animals.